Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters for WrestlingMayhemShow.com on this May 1st, 2015. And I want to talk about Kane. But first, please go check out our friends at SliceOnBroadway.com as well as BoldPittsburgh.com. They support the show, support the back, let them know you heard about them on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Network. So today I want to talk about Kane. Yes, that Kane. That's the Kane we want, right? Maybe not the Kane we deserve. Could be the one we need right now. But anyways, uh, Kane has been a very interesting focal point. I think I saw tweets or something like saying, why is he a focal point of WWE programming in this pay-per-view we just watched? Which, again, talk, check on the Wrestling Man Show, my thoughts on calling it pay-per-views even anymore. Uh, because that, I don't know, I just that juxtaposition doesn't work for me anymore. Anyways, Kane is, you have to appreciate Kane. This is my Kane appreciation cast. Uh, in under three minutes, hopefully. Uh, you have to appreciate Kane because he's he's been in 20 years in the business. Very good for his age and size. He's good. You, He's good, guys. He's not been given opportunities or, or whatnot to stay interesting, you know. Uh, in this, uh, But he's reliable, and he is threatening, imposing as a physical specimen, even if he's lost about, you know, 80% of his matches over the last uh, three years. But um, but he's he's that roadblock. Why is he a significant part of this story? Because he does a tremendous job at it. A guy, the guys on the show, the guy, the my colleagues have been very excited about how he's come off. You know, with his interactions with Seth Rollins, and now the story is Kane and Seth Rollins. Let's be honest. How many times have we been tired of of Randy Orton match after match with whoever has been put up against for the belt? Right. Uh, you know, before he turned face again, I mean, some people would get up and walk away from the Buffalo Wild Wings table when they won money money in the bank. Hi, Bobby. You know, and, and that has changed. And 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 putting those layers in there as they do, kind of top loading the main event, making things more interesting. Maybe they're like, oh, obviously they're going to keep the belt because of them. Now you're like, well, maybe Kane will turn, and eventually maybe we'll get Red Kane with this weird doll thing in this picture on WWE.com <laughs> happening. You never know. But uh, I, I think Kane uh, still serves a large purpose, still has a lot to a lot to give. Um, and, and right now, it's pushing Seth Rollins to the moon. Like it or not, you know, Seth Rollins is a key player and a significant core key player to every Raw and SmackDown to the point where I'm, I'm worried that people are going to get a little worn out on him. But now at least he's the champion, so there's a reason. But I think he's done a tremendous job. He's on the mic. He's doing that thing. You know, he's not Triple H yet as far as Mike's skills. But he's light years beyond. If you go check out some of his old Ring of Honor promos, he's he's tremendous, and he's taking the the ball and he's doing with it. If nothing else, we're getting these matches. See our podcast from the other day here on the Mayhem Minute. But we're getting this is awesome chance. We're getting the Ring of Honorness uh, on the top level consistently because he's the one walking around with that belt that we actually get to see from week to week. Thank you. Uh, but uh, it's it, it's it's uh, but Kane. Keep Kane where he's at, doing a good job. Want to see where this goes. This authority intricacies has been very interesting and is, I think, uh, you know, belong in the tooth, of course, but they've changed it. It's not about Triple H and Steph as heavily as it was a year ago. And it's just an entity on its own. And it, it will keep forming and reforming and shaping, and, uh, and, and, and we'll see where it goes from here. What do you think about Kane? Love him or leave him? Let me know at Mayhem Show on the Twitters and the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Have a great weekend. we got so much plans. So much plans. Yes, English. Coming up in the next couple of weeks. We'll see. Uh, please follow, share everything uh, that we're doing over at SorgatronMedia.com. Whatever you dig. Tell me, tell us what you don't dig even. Uh, you know, so we can uh, work on that and prove it. You know, we are open to suggestions. Your feedback is key. Especially you Patreon supporters. Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Become our boss. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.